Well, hello everyone. And the word you haven't heard from me in a long time, if you follow me, this is IH0386SX with a vintage computer video. See, I got something from our good country of China. It's this uh, USB card. Now, what gave me this idea is uh, that recently, retro computing folks like myself and several others have gotten on the bandwagon and we all discovered this ISA2 USB card. It was a little 8-bit USB card and did a video on that. Uh, in the case of my video, there was some pain associated with it. But others, not as much. Uh, I know they're probably a little bit better at video editing. And I'm not afraid to show my mistakes. So, that got me back onto eBay where I got the ISA2 USB card. And it'll tell you, I got this one for, I don't even think I got it for even 10 bucks. I think it was really cheap. And it's kind of a confusing card in a way because it says Volt, PCM, CIA, and Card Bus. It is shaped like a PCM, CIA card. If you know it does say 32-bit PC card. So there's some uh, conflicts going on with that for sure. See, your typical 32 bit card bus card, this is a Cisco Aeronet A, B, and G, but on the end, you'll see this gold plate with some bumps. In some cases, that is uh, serves as a safety mechanism so the card cannot be inserted into a PCM CIA only slot. The Armada 4160T that you are staring at right now happens to have that safety mechanism in play. So if I were to insert this card, it is not going to go in all the way. And well, it's definitely not going to go in the top slot because I do have something in there. Let me see if I can position the camera. To show you that these slots are not defective, this is a PCM CIA storage adapter, compact flash adapter to be exact. It is in. You see the cursor on the upper right. It did something. We got beeps. And just like that, we're showing something. So we know that the uh, we know that the uh, at least the top slot is good. Just for example, if we try to insert this card, it will not go in. At least not all the way. See? It is stuck here. It just doesn't go in. There is a safety mechanism on this particular system. Now, if you were to put this card, this card bus card, in a Compact LTE 5000 series, it will go in. It just won't do anything. And I don't personally recommend putting card bus cards in 16-bit only PCMCAA slots because I don't know what kind of damage it will do. Unless you're going to take a risk. Now, if this card fries my computer, I'll be a little bit upset. Nowhere near as upset if I were to put this in my LTE 5000. You might see a grown man cry on, on video if I were to do that, but... We're not going to do that, so we're going to go and see what this guy does. Will it work on a PCM CIA only system? Uh-oh. I'm going to go with no. So that's interesting. So this particular card, although it doesn't have the bumps on it, it does have the rest of the safety mechanisms that prevent this card from being inserted. So that's... And I don't know exactly how that... Oh, yes I do. Okay. So, we'll do a little comparison here. So, the card on the bottom is my USB. The one in the middle is my uh, storage adapter, and then the one on the top is a Cisco Aeronet. You notice here that these two cards that the uh, 
that bump is higher up than on your PCM CIA card. Now, I don't have any other PCM CIA cards to compare that to at this time, but But that's why I have a feeling the safety mechanism, what that would be. Uh -oh. I have too much junk. I'm sure I could conjure up a PCM CIA adapter. Ah, here we go. This would be perfect. I found an apples to apples comparison. Somebody is looking for one of those batteries I just dropped. All right, so we will compare notes to the. Uh, we have a Cisco Aeronet 340 PCM CIA 16 bit, and we got our Aeronet A, B, and J series. And you will notice that it does have the notch lower. So, I'm going to say that this is probably not going to work on a PCM CIA computer. And I really don't have anything else here that is PCM CIA only that I would want to take a chance on. So, I'm going to say that this card probably isn't going to work. Maybe I have something else here that may just maybe that I could sacrifice if I have a system with a belly motherboard or something along the lines like that, or something that stays out for a few minutes. I might do that, but beyond that, I think this card is going to be a no-go. But with the magic of video editing, we're going to find something else, maybe, and you won't have to wait long for that. I'm not going to lie. I lied. Okay, I know those words don't usually belong in the same sentence. I originally said that I was not going to use an LTE 5000 for this, but I forgot about this guy. This is a an LTE 5000. I believe it's a 75 megahertz variant. I just said on the screen, so. I think this machine is a little bit of a mutant. It's 120 megahertz board. Okay, so, all right, so, yeah, so this is a little bit of a Frankenstein mutant, but that's okay. I won this machine uh, thanks to Retro Tech Chris. He was uh, giving away some of his fleets, and I happened to be the lucky recipient to get this guy. I think I originally got it for parts. But I could be wrong, but you know, you can never have too many LTE 5000s. This pencil eraser mouse thing feels amazing on this one. And I realized something else too. I, I don't know if this machine came with the floppy or not. But as yellowed as it may be, it looks like an Epson. Readily available replacements if it's dead. So. I think this was a good score, even if I paid somebody for it. This is still a good score. All right, so let's uh, give this the old college try. Uh, before we do, we will put a card in that we know that does work. We're going to use this storage adapter again to demonstrate to make sure that these slots do work. I'm not sure how clear it is on the screen, but we don't need to. Oh. Yeah, maybe that, that's. Gotta love these things. So, yep, the that absolutely does work. Oh, this is really fast on this one. That's interesting. Okay, that's all right. And this is one of my pet peeves of this machine. It's very hard to grab these cards that are like that. So, here you go. 
I know this one doesn't have that fail safe in it, but maybe I'm inserting it stupid too, so that's uh What the why world's going on here? Maybe it does. Okay. This one's got that fail safe in it too. That's very odd. My good 5,000, the one that I, my pride and joy, unless I remember that wrong. No, no, it's got that too. So yes, so this is a card bus card is my belief. Or a really bad Chinese knockoff. So we are going to uh, end this little experiment. And thank you Retro Tech Chris if you ever uh, do view this video. I thank you for the donation of this uh, 5,000. It didn't do quite what I wanted to do for this exercise, but I realized that I got way more than what I originally thought I was going to get with it. So this was definitely a win. Put that back where I found it originally. And it came with 32 megs of RAM. That's actually pretty generous. So. Now, we're going to go back to, will the card even work and something semi-modern? Or, we're going to borrow a term from IBM Museum, a tweener system. And I have just a ticket. I think. I have my IBM ThinkPad R52. I know you can't see it at the moment, but you will see it very soon. And I think I did a stupid here and left it on battery the whole time. Yes, I did. Hopefully there's enough juice in this bad boy. Alright, and here we go. So we got more enough battery power to do this demonstration. So, let's do it. So the card is now going in. I'm not gonna demonstrate the inserting of the card, which is going in really hard. But the new hardware notification is below. almost wants to come up, but it's just not there. So I'm not sure if that's Windows being Windows or if this card is really craptacular. Yep, okay, so it found the hardware, it's ready to use. So we have a inexpensive Chinese USB card. It is card bus. And this particular system, the R52, and the T40-esque series all came with Intel chipsets. And the card itself appears to be NEC. And it's identified as an NEC PCI to USB. Now it also came with this power cord that you wanted to probably want to use to give this thing a little bit more juice. So we have gone ahead and complied with that. Now, all I have left for me to do is to find a thumb drive that hopefully doesn't have any crimping on it. Just kidding. There is nothing bad in any of these flash drives, so. If I want new in the package, it's a 16 gig. It's a generic, uh, no name, Amazon special, eBay special. And we are now going to insert said card. Power it up. I will tilt the camera down. It's USB ports on a thick pad of this vintage up here. Your card is down there. And I guess I can show that there's no secrets. 
How do you inject on this machine? All right, this is gonna be a two-hander. This card does fit, does not fit very well in this machine at all, so I, but yes, that is your NEC XG. And I'll insert that right back in. And there we go. There's nothing on the flash drive because it is brand new, but let's write something to it. And okay, I think I found a couple good things, so let's do that. It's supposedly USB 2.0, so we should be able to uh, do something fairly quickly. At least that's the theory here. Yeah, how big is, we'll do the bigger of the two. So we're just gonna Looks like it is, uh, it looks like it's going. Which at the end of the day, it's uh, hard to tell, but it did say both card bus and PCM CIA. So, who knows, but I guess uh, anything over there, you know, they do have some good stuff over there, but like anything else, you got to read things real careful. Yeah, it looks like it's just going to take a couple minutes. This is about a 700 megabyte ISO on a no-name flash drive, it's really not doing bad at all, so. I guess if we're waiting here, I could pull up the Z listing. See if I could find it. There we go. Okay. I think it actually, did it go up in price? So yes, the card itself, that's the card right there. It used, again, it used both the PCMCIA and card bus in the listing, so I wasn't sure what to expect. But for that price, if you need a cheapy card for, say, like your Pentium 2 tweener system, that's, it's doable. It's not a bad little card. It is bothering me, though, that this thing does come out as hard as it does. I'm hoping that that's just this particular machine. But we shall see. I gotta find something else in the close proximity. In my little crazy uh, mess here. Oh boy, it is not. Uh, <laughs> One thing I do have to say is that the card does not go in or out very easily. So I just tried it on my little tiny Panasonic Tough Book, name only. And that thing is, uh, I'm trying to grab it with my hand here, and it is not one to budge very easy. I think if I fiddle with it a little bit more, it'll come out. Yep. So yeah, it slides out pretty hard all the way. So, But that's life. That happens. But that's uh, pretty much it. Outside of the car going in hard and coming out hard, it is a usable card bus USB card. Now, as always, if you have any questions or comments or constructive criticism, please feel free to leave them in the comments section as you wish. And as always, thank you for watching.